Hello friends, today we will learn about pests of spices and their management part 2. This is a catalog of spices which I have earlier mentioned in my part 1 video. So you can go through it. And the major spices which we have discussed in a previous part that is a cardamom and black pepper. In this video we will discuss the pest and their management of turmeric and ginger cinnamon clove and nutmeg here you can see the turmeric and ginger then cinnamon exfoliate of bark clove and nutmeg and maize these both obtained from the same plant before going to the pest we can see the health benefits of ginger so ginger treats diarrhea it prevent cancer it having the anti-inflammatory pro property it treats uh, flatulence and uh, turmeric it also having the anti-inflammatory properties and help to prevent arthritis helps to control diabetes and improve digestion and immune system Coming to the pest, uh, pest of ginger and turmeric, here the um, important pests are pest of borer, rhizome scale, leaf roller, thrips, and rhizome fly. So we will see some of the important pests in detail. So coming to the first pest, sood borer. So here you can see the adult which having the black spot on his forewing and hindwing, which lays egg singly. And the larva which emerges out, it bores the central suits, cause yellowing, withering and drying of the central suit. And presence of bore hole will be seen on the pseudo stem. It can be managed by spraying malathion. 0.1% at 30 day interval. Coming to the another pest rhizome scale. So scale insects, they stick on the leaf, uh, pseudo stem as well as in rhizome. So we are both nymph and adult, they suck the sap because of because suck the sap because of that plant look pale and withered. At the time of harvest, minute yellowish craw crawler can be seen moving in large number. And this could be a potential stage of dissemination. So it can be managed by selecting healthy rhizome and with the seed treatment with quinol force before storage also we you can treat and keep and as well as before sowing when infestation is high in the particular area coming to the another pest leaf roller here you can see it lays egg singly and this is the larva inside the fold this is a pupa and this is adult here you can see how the larva has folded the leaf longitudinally it folds and it defoliates so it can be managed by spraying carbaryl or dimethoate when infestation is high Coming to the rhizome fly, which is very important here, you can see the fly of the pteran group and the maggot, it comes out from the egg and it uh, bores a hole inside the rhizome and causes dead hurt, wilting, drying of aerial parts that leads to rotting of rhizome due to invasion of fungus. It can be managed by removal of dead hurt and rotting rhizome, avoiding water logs in the field, seed treatment with dimethoate and the pupa is also parasitized by trichopria, so it could be released. Coming to the pest of clove, so we will see first the health benefits of clove. So it protects the liver for, it is useful for healthy stomach, it treats oral disease, a headache and fight against the cancer, keeps diabetes in check, strength our immune system, this enhance our bone strength, improve digestion and it having the antibacterial property. So here you can see the clove uh, trees, it used to be uh, robust and bussy and then here is a flower which we used to eat and this is the pest of clove that is steam borer scale insect mealybug and chili thrips the thrips also infest the same thrips also infest to the chili so steam borer here you can see the adult it look like this and the borer it bores hole into uh, crawling in downward side so girdle the stream and bores downward into it so it can be managed by spraying the quinal force around the bore hole and inject the same into the bore hole after removing the frost swab the basal region of the main stem with carbaryl and keep the basin free of weeds so it can be managed in that way coming to the another insect a scale insect so clove is infested by three species of scale black scale here you can see black in color then mask scale here it is uh, pinkish in color and then greenish scale you can see here the greenish scale 
so these in that case both nymph and adult sucks the sap and plant get devitalized and yellowing and withering uh, take place so it can be also managed by any of the systemic insecticide uh, including spray uh, spraying of dimethoate or methyl dimethan coming to the another pest mealybug this is a white mealy substance uh, uh, is secreted along with the honeydew uh, this is the insect mealy kind of whitey powdery sub substance along with honeydew uh, this promotes the growth of a sooty mold and it affects the photosynthesis activity of the plant. So plant get uh, yellows and it withers out and it does not bear much fruit. So it can be managed by uh, spraying dimethoate. Coming to the pest of nutmeg and mace. So uh, if you see the health benefits of nutmeg, nutmeg is added an, uh, an aromatic flavor as we know. It detoxify the body, treats sleep disorder and insomnia, ensures good bone health and it acts as antioxidants. It improves the oral health and cure toothache, etc. So uh, here is a, one of the important pest of nutmeg is a nutmeg we will. Uh, here you can see the grub. This is a weevil and this is grub again. It bores hole uh, inside the nut. So kernel completely destroyed by tunneling. This grub used to tunnel inside the kernel. Circular bore hole on the nut cell are seen from where adult used to emerge. And this can be managed by the fumigation. So this is all about the spice pest, which we have discussed in two part, part one and part two. This is the part two. So you can subscribe uh, my channel. So know more about the different insect pests of different crops and like, share and comment uh, if any specific video you want. Thank you.